Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn to create a dashboard on the Q component. First of all, there are a lot many things to learn. And in this video, I am going to focus on some of them. What we are going to learn is how can I show or create a dashboard where I could show the number of transactions completed so far. Okay, and how can I create a dashboard where I can show number of queues present in my tenant or in my organization? How to create that? Let's see it. First of all, for this, what we will do, we'll go to UiPath Insights and you should have the designer license. You can click on create new dashboard. And when you create, it will give you option to, you know, provide the name. Actually, I have created one. I'm going to open the blank one. And here, let's see how do you really create a dashboard. Now, for this, first you click on edit dashboard if it is blank. And then on the top, you have the option add. Click on add and then you see the option called visualization. Pretty simple. Dashboard add visualization. Click on this. This is how you create. Now, once you create, you see there are multiple things available. You need to have a good understanding of all of this. Jobs, process ROI, return on investment, queue ROI, queues, robot logs. So this is from the tenant level. In your organization, you might be having a single tenant or you might be having multiple tenants. If you're having multiple tenants, and your data comes from the entire org, then you should select any one of this. This is specific for jobs. Similarly, you have for jobs org. This is for the tenant that you have opened the insights on. When you are opening the insights, you can see the tenant in the drop down. Based on that, only for, for this tenant, it is going to open the data, share you the data. It will show you the data, right? Similarly, if if you want to do get for entire org, you should select this. Similarly, you have queue. See, you have one simple queue here written as queue. And the other one you would see as queue org. This is for the entire organization where you have multiple tenants. So this understanding should be clear. Now here I am interested in the org, for example. So I'll click on org. Okay. So this is called the scope of your UiPath insights. Are you limiting it to your tenant? Or would you like to get the entire org data? So here, let's say I'm interested in the org, entire org organization data. Then I would be clicking, clicking on this. Okay. So selecting the scope is important. This is very important. Very first step. Now here, what I am interested is, I want to see how many queues are there in my org. How many queues are there? Now for this, what you do? First, you provide a name to this. So what is the name? I would like to know number of queues. You provide a name and this is the org in, in the entire organization. I might be having multiple tenants. And then the second important thing is to find the field. So how do you find the field? See if you have because I have selected Q org, you can see the Q org has appeared here. Do you see the Q org has appeared here. Now in this there is one of the field which I have to use. So knowing the field is important. Now, for example, I want to see Q. So what should be the field name? What you guess? It would be Q name or something like that, right? So simply type Q or simply type whatever you think should be the name. Type it Q name. So now check if there is a field available like that. Yes, you can see Q name is the field. I'm going to click on it. So the moment you click once, it will appear in the data section. There are three layers, okay? Data filter visualization data so the moment you click on a field it appears here so for example if i click once again it is gone i have to click once in the field now if you run this see if you run this everything is blank now the moment you run this it will tell you in your organization how many different queues names are there so it tells me you have a queue name called Q1, you have a queue name called RPA Challenge Q1, you have a queue name called RPA Challenge Q, Test Q1. So these are the queues it is going to show you. Okay. So how many queues I have? One, two, three, four. 
4. So in the visualization, what I would like to show is, I would like to show 4 as a count. Yes or no? I would like to show the count as 4. So how would I do it? For this, you need to create something called custom field. So what are the important things we saw? First, you have added visualization, selected the QR, provided a name, selecting the right field. And that field, once you click once, it appears in the data layer. There are three layers, filter layer, visualization layer, and data layer. In the data layer, once it appears, I need to get a count of all this so that it can show me a number only. I don't want anything else. I don't want to see the names. I just want to see the total count. So for this, you have to use something called custom field. See, so many things you are learning one by one. I will click on add and I am click on table calculation. What is it? I have clicked on add in the custom field and table calculation. So here what I will do, I will provide a name. What is that? Total or count of queue name, count of queues, count of queues. Okay. Now what should be the expression? So the field name, I have to count, right? So I will say count and then in bracket count and then I will put a dollar symbol and then Q name. I am going to select Q name. So what I am saying, count the Q names. The field name has to be started something like that. Dollar and then you have to say Q name. Simply if you type, it will automatically come. You have to select it count. Okay. So now I have done count Qs and I am going to hit on save. So what happened? The moment I have created a custom field, if you click on in use, it will show you what are the fields being used. Okay, so if you see Q name, just simply run it once. So what it did, it counted all of this and showing one, four, 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 four. Okay, this is the total count. Now out of this, all the visualization, I have created one custom field, right? Okay, so the custom field is here, count of Q. You can see it in appearing in green. It should appear here on the top also. So now I am going to select the single value. I'll go to select here and I'm going to hit on run. Now let's see the Q1 white is coming. You have to first hide this right click. Sorry, click on this. And there should be option to hide this field from visualization. Okay. So now it will go to the next field. So now what of the first value is that it's showing. So that is correct, right? So the total number of queues I have is four. So I'm going to hit on save. Now what I got, I got a dashboard where it's showing me number of queues is 4. I'm going to save it. Number of queues I have is 4. Okay, great. Now this is one learning. It's like that, slowly one by one, I'm going to teach you. So this is first one we have created to get number of queues. Now the next one I would like to probably see number of transaction items that are present in all queues. Probably that could be my next target. I'm going to teach you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.